and welcome to my midnight hollow overview those of you who um keep an eye out on my channel you guys know i apologize for getting this up today because i accidentally bought the wrong version and i had to wait for customer service to get back to me about my purchase of the standard so i could get refunded so i could purchase the gold so that's why it's up today and I was also being indecisive about Crystal and whether or not to do her first because she's really important too. But I just can't wait to play this game. I'm like, it's sitting in here. I haven't installed it. I need to play it. I really want to play it. So I'm doing that. that. But the main reason is because I bought the wrong version. But uh, yeah, those of you who are new to my channel and this is the first video you're ever watching of mine, I am Cultivate23. I'm a simmer. Uh... And I love playing The Sims. My favorite thing on my channel that I do is Crystal Prune. It's a series that I do... Uh, how do I explain it? I don't know how to explain it. It's just a series that I do. It's not like a Let's Play. It's just a series. And I also do mini-series. And I love doing those, too. That's my second favorite. Not my least favorite. I guess, yeah, my least favorite is Let's Plays. But I don't like to say least favorite because I love doing those too. Uh, all of them are different. They let me show different things. But yeah, that's what my channel's about if you're new. And hello and welcome. And I hope you like this video. This is my first time doing an overview. I mean, not an overview, sorry. My first time doing a voiceover. So I'm so nervous right now because I recorded it without sound like a smart person. So I apologize. So if I'm talking too fast for you guys or you can't hear me or something, I'm really nervous because I've never done a voiceover and I'm trying to keep up with the screen. I'm watching my video and trying to remember what I said or whatever. So I'm going to start off by telling you guys how they describe Midnight Hollow. So I'm going to read that to you. So it says, tucked away in a distant land, surrounded by a gathering of trees lies the quiet village of Midnight Hollow. In the dark and remote valley where the sun never shines lives a vibrant community of sims cast out by society the resident sims are accepted in love in midnight hollow the town boasts plenty of thriving little shops and a vibrant culture as every sim is free to be who they are i love that because it's so different we haven't seen this in any world so i'm really excited just hearing that alone now I'm going to, excuse me, read the backstory to you guys. I know that probably sounded like the backstory, but now I'm going to read the thing that you guys are looking at on the screen. So it says, explore a landscape where all you're really required to be is yourself, which is very important. Under the subdued sky of Midnight Hollow, it's the residents who really shine. Eccentric townsfolk have taken a century-old Victorian town and made it a place they can call home. What life will you make in a town where creativity and individuality are the center of it all? So, are you guys ready to jump in to Midnight Hollow? I'm so excited. Like, I'm very excited. Um, right now, I'm going to tell you guys how much it costs. I have the gold version, but before I had the standard version, the standard version was 2,450 sim points, which is 24 US dollars and 50 cents and it comes with the Savvy Sellers Collection. The Savvy Sellers Collection is basically like getting a whole new expansion pack in your game. I don't know those of you who played Sims 2, oh, Open for Business is one of my favorite games. I could have a bakery, that's what I had, I had like a bakery <laughs> and I had like a business, you know? So with this Savvy Sellers Collection you get a register and you get shelves and rugs to place items on for you to sell so that does come with the standard version so it's like you get an expansion pack for twenty four dollars and fifty cents so i think that's amazing the gold version comes with way more items of course it comes with a lot more premium content because it's the gold version but it's also three thousand nine hundred sim points until october 7th that sale will end on october 7th so those of you who want the gold version, I would suggest getting it before the sale ends because if you don't, you'll be paying 4,350 sim points, which is 43 
U.S. dollars and 50 cents, that's a lot of money for a world, in my opinion. That's a lot of money. And I don't know about you guys, but I am a college student, and I can't afford to just be spending money, $50 on a world. Uh, I can't do that. Um, so, yes. Like, $43, I know it's not 50 Like, I always exaggerate, but that's a lot of money. So, I would suggest getting it while it's on sale before October 7th. And, again, that's 3,900 SIM points. And it comes, the gold version comes with the Titanic toy machine. It is designed to build a group of gnomes and different child toys. And it also is able to make the one new toy that is for newborn babies. You can lay them on there on the little mat and they can play with it. So I think that's really cool. It also comes with the Golden Ticket Toy Shop venue. It comes with it. You will not be able to buy it separately as of right now. It, I haven't seen it on the website, thesims3.com, but it comes with the Golden Ticket Toy Shop venue already in there, so you don't have to download it um, separately. I love that they just automatically had it in there. So, yeah, you get that with the gold version. Uh just amazing all of this stuff um what else was I gonna tell you guys uh hmm one second okay you guys so I'm going to jump right into the creative sim um items now for the females so right now you are looking at um my female sim that's going to be in my mini series for Midnight Hollow. I tweeted a picture of her. Those of you who follow me on Twitter have already seen her. But yeah, I tweeted a picture of her, I think, last week when I watched the live broadcast. So she has a twin sister, and I can't wait for you guys to see them in the mini series that I have. But I'm going to run through the clothing now from Midnight uh, Hollow and the outfits and everything. So, Midnight Hollow came with this beautiful dress that she has on, obviously, and it's just gorgeous to me. It is red and black. I just think that it is so... Sorry if you guys, this offends anyone, or you guys are like, oh, why are you using that term? But this dress is so sexy. Like, so sexy. It is a very sexy dress. If I wanted to get dressed up and look sexy in my house, you know, alone, or like on a romantic night or something, I would have my Sims put this on. OMG, it's so sexy. Very sexy. The detailing, they paid so much attention to this dress. It's like amazing, amazing. Uh, oh, and sorry about that, you guys. I didn't mean for my little, you know, my antivirus to pop up, but... The uh, Midnight Hollow came with, uh, I think it's six, six outfits, no, seven outfits for females, and one top and one bottom. So, that's what we're going to look at. And I have to say that I love, like, I love, love, love this dress. I do think it's a little too sexy for everyday wear, so I think I should move on now, if I can find the dress. My content's finally loading. Uh, okay. Come on, load. Thank you. Goodness. So, this is the next dress that came with Midnight Hollow. I do not like it. Like, I like it, but it looks like it came with was supposed to come with Supernatural, and it doesn't hug her the right way, so I'm not really a big fan. Not a big fan at all. I don't like it. For her it's nice like very detailed but no hmm not for her not for her at all wait is that a oh I do love the front and that little the neck oh my gosh look at that detailing you guys but moving on moving on oh I love this oh I love this I love it I love it I love it it's so detailed I don't like it on her. Again, I don't like that on her. But I do... Oh my gosh, it's so detailed. It's very, very beautiful. They did a great job. So far, I'm loving the clothes in Midnight Hollow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous. I'm spitting her around now, I guess. <laughs> you guys, stick with me. I'm so sorry. This is my first time doing a voiceover. I'm reacting, re-reacting my gosh. Oh, I love this dress, you guys. And I'm sorry if I'm, like, repeating some things. Again, this is a voiceover. and I've never done one of these before. But um, I do love this dress on her. And she ends up wearing... Oh, I just told you guys what she has on. Oh, sad. But, yeah, she ends up wearing this. I didn't want you guys to know until I did it. But she ends up wearing this and... I, like, customize it myself and all that good stuff. But I love this dress. Like, I would wear this on Halloween, like, this year. If I had it. If I could find it somewhere. I would wear this. It is, like, gorgeous. The detailing. I love the skirt. I love the top. I love the spider neck. I love everything about it. The lace in between the skirt and the top makes it look like two pieces. It's just, oh, OMG. And this, I love it because it's high-low, but it's a little more on the edgier side. So I think this looks really good, really, really good, but I think it's more for her twin sister. But I do love the detailing and the metallic and then her hands, the detailed on the hands and all of that. I love it. And it's my favorite color, purple. I love it a lot. I actually like it. It will, it will grow on me. It will grow on me. It looks like I'm going to, oh, this is when I accidentally went to customize it, and I didn't mean to, but I turned it into purple and gray, so it looks cute to me, I like it like that. <laughs> uh, I tried to make it the same color as her hair, as you can see, but without the turquoise, but I like that on her, for her sister, since they're identical twins, it's going to look good, great on her sister. Moving on to the next dress, I think I'm going to the black dress next. No, okay. This item that I'm on uh, came with the bundle. It doesn't come with Midnight Hollow. It comes with the bundle in the Sims 3 store for Midnight Hollow. It's like the gypsy outfit, and I love it because I love, love, love um, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't know if you guys know that Disney movie, and I want to make... Uh, no, what was I gonna call her? Rapunzel. What is her name? Not Jezebel either. <laughs> Jezebel. Oh my gosh. What is her name in that movie? Her name is something, and I want to make her from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The girl who like falls in love with him for who he is and not his looks. I want to make that girl with this outfit on because she's a gypsy in that movie, and I love it. Um. Uh, this dress, oh my gosh. This is a really, really sexy dress. A little bit too sexy. Like, this would only have to be inside, like, on a romantic night when I'm, like, trying to make my Sims woo-hoo or something because her breasts are literally about to fall out of the dress. That is, like, ridiculous. But it's a very sexy dress. Very detailed. Very nice and put together. I like it a lot. A lot on her, too. Not just for the twin, but I like it on her. But then, I don't like the front. Like, the back, if the... Uh, I like everything about it. It's just too sexy to go outside in, I feel like. Just not my taste for outside. So, but I think that's the last dress. I think we're gonna move on to the tops now. Yeah, because we already did this dress. So, I think we're going to move on. Oh my gosh, and the video's getting a little long. A little long. I, uh, yeah. Oh, no, there is one more dress. Okay. That is the last outfit. I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, does this fit in the world? But it does fit in the world. It really, really does. Because of the style of the dress, not because of the color this style and why not if you're in a gloomy town why don't you wear clothes that are bright you know so people can actually see you because the world is really really dark so this dress is really cute i like it a lot i like it i like it it's like school girly i hope they have it for teens i don't go into the teen clothing in this video but i hope they have this dress for the teens because i could do a lot with it with my crystal croon <laughs> series so i it would be like really exciting if it's for the teenagers. I think I'm going to uh, use that, actually. I'm going to look for that. The first thing I'm going to do when I start Crystal's next episode is look for that dress. Uh, I think I'm looking for the top. The only top that came with Midnight Hollow with my 
Oh, I have so much custom content <laughs> that it takes forever to load. Oh, okay. There we are. The shirt is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like, gorgeous. The pants are diesel. They didn't come with Midnight Hollow. I wish they came with some jeans, but they didn't. So those are diesel jeans, if you're wondering. But the top is Midnight Hollow, and I love it to death. It is a little risque, but I love the detailing. It is gorgeous. I love the neck, the bow. I love the uh, revealing, like, shoulders and cleavage area. That is just so... Uh, it's a very detailed shirt. I do think it's a little risque, but it's very sexy and very well thought out. These are gorgeous. These little tight things with the bows. Oh my gosh, and the rips and cuts. That is so cute. That's a little risque for my taste too. The skirt, I, oh my gosh, it looks like it came out of universe. Is that? That is the university life skirt. You guys, no. Tell me if that's not the university life skirt. It is. It's the university life skirt. But I love it, even though it's a, like way short. It's like I can see her butt cheeks back there in the mirror or something. <laughs> but I love the tights part of it. Like if I could remove the skirt and just wear those tights alone, oh my gosh, that would be cute with a longer skirt or some shorts or something different than that skirt. Uh, now we're going to go into the hair, and as you can see, I did customize her outfit how I was saying I was going to, getting her ready for the little mini-series that you guys, again, will be out tomorrow, not today. And, uh, yeah, this is the first hair. I kept the hair color that I gave her and tried to see how this first hairstyle would look, and it looks gorgeous. I just don't like it on her face at all like I don't like it on her face it cuts off her beautiful features and all of that good stuff but I love this hair it's a little shiny for my liking like um actually a lot shiny for my liking but I like it I do like it just not on her I love it though I don't even like it I love it this is crazy this hairstyle right here is crazy crazy cute I love it so much it's so crazy that it's cute it's like amazing really really cute sorry about that guys wow I <laughs> that yeah so this is crazy cute crazy cute I love the roses I love the goggles it's so unique and weird but she's so pretty so it doesn't look that weird <laughs> I feel like if she was not as attractive as she is it would be weirder but I like it I think I'm gonna use this on her sister I think I might maybe I don't know I don't know. I don't know. I, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. No. I don't know. I might not even give them Midnight Hollow hair. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. Oh, maybe I might give her that hair, her sister that hair. Oh. Oh, I love it. I love it a lot. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I love this. The little pigtails. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Not for her, though. For the twin. For the twin. I know everything's for the twin. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like this a lot. I think we have, like, three more, two more hairs left for the females. Two more hairs. This right here. Uh, uh, no. No, no. 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 Mm -mm. Marie Antoinette-ish going on. I don't like it for this. Maybe if she had white hair, it would look pretty like on the trailer. <laughs> and this I love. These dreads, oh my gosh. They're like the ones off of University Life, the detail. And I know they're detailed because of the color of her hair. And I can see every like dread and then every color and then the mixture of colors. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, I, didn't, I know I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to go on a creative style. Uh, I didn't mean to go on a creative style for this hairstyle. But I think that we're done with the female hair. And we can move on to the male hair. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And all I did was change <laughs> uh, her into a boy, as you can see. So I'm sorry if he looks a little weird to you guys, like overly pretty. But I just changed him into a girl. But this hair is the only hair that came with the guys that doesn't have accessories on it. And it's like pin curl things, like big curls. 
on a guy and I love it with color but I'm gonna change the colors here in a second I think and show you guys how it looks without having all these different colors in it. it looks a little weird because you can't see there's no detail like cuz I'm used to my custom content here see like look at that oh I maybe you guys like that I I like the hair I just wish it didn't look like that and maybe in game it looks different because sometimes it looks weird and create a sim but then it looks like so cute when you are in game so maybe that's what's gonna happen but yeah that's the only hair that came with the males for um in that hollow without accessories without accessories and uh, i think i'm gonna move on but uh yeah here we go the guys first hair with accessories i love it i don't like the hair part of it I love the hat. That's what I should say. I love the hat. It's so cool. I don't like the hair because it's like base game hair. It's the exact same hairstyle from base game. This, OMG. This is crazy. It looks like it took so much time, but it has so much detail. It looks like someone sewed it into their head, like leather and... OMG. It is ridiculous. And I'm so sorry if you can hear anything that's going on behind me. I'm so sorry if you can hear it because <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover. Like, how do you get interrupted and you're doing a voiceover? But, oh, this top hat. Oh, this is amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. I love it. It's distressed. The peacock feather. Everything looks so, so cute. I love it. I love this. I actually do. I don't know how I'm going to use it. Well, I know I'm going to use it, but not in this because I'm not going to have a male in this mini series. I think this is when my game started acting weird with uh, Create a Sim and Midnight Hollow. I think this is when it started acting weird. Yeah, it is because I'm going to have to show you guys pictures of the male clothing and I will have that in my next video. Uh, the picture of the male clothing and the objects and items in a separate video than this one because this one's getting long. <laughs> getting really really long and I'm trying to make my game like not be laggy but I'm going to jump into live mode and go into a household and show you guys the store um, not the toy store but the regular store and the register and have someone like buy it but show you guys around a little bit look at midnight hollow uh, it is it's fairly big. It's not as big as other worlds, and I'm actually glad about that. Uh, I don't like when stuff is too big. It takes them forever to get to places, but it does look like this world's going to be hard to maneuver because... Okay, so taking a look around, it looks, like, really good. Really, really good. There's a lot of big lots, empty ones, <laughs> building. <laughs> I've been in the building a lot. Again, I'm not, like, a builder. I don't call myself a builder at all. But I love interior design. Like, I love it. Excuse me. I'm trying to get better at building, but I love, love, love interior design. Oh, let's read these. I don't even know if I can read them. Uh, so, Jules knows that the only way to keep money in his... It, the only way to keep money is to not spend it. So basically, this guy has a backstory of having a hard life and learned how to save his money. And he's not going to spend it on anything. So he's never going to be poor, I guess, again in his life. That's a cool backstory. Oh, Carter. <laughs> it says, Car Carter is a leading chef in town. Oh, a chef. A uh, eccentric sense of fashion. She um, grabs inspiration where she can find it. Oh, the Vivere Simwood and the Marie Simtoinette of the past. How adorable is that? The Marie Simtoinette of the past. That's a cute backstory. I'm just going through a few backstories, you guys. Oh, Sombre. Oh, it says convincing her bandmates that she should be taken seriously as a lead vocalist. Uh, that sounds interesting, but not that interesting to me right now. So I'm not going to choose them to go to the store with. I'm trying to find one person, but not a guy. This is Zalim, not a guy. I don't want a guy. 
by oh salas 64 by 64 a lot the salas okay it says oh i love this you guys it says when the attractive Jay walked her way and asked her her name, now years after, the home she's she has the home she's always dreamed of, and she's very he's very attractive. Uh, she doesn't think she missed out on anything. Science doesn't explain how it works with her family, but she thinks their family is powered by love. OMG, I love that. I love that backstory. That's like amazing. Lim, again, I didn't mean to click on you. No, guys. Oh, Prince. Oh, too big of a family. Not you guys either. I need one person. One person. Not Carter. One person. Come on. A weird... Like, someone in black, like, I'm gonna have in my miniseries. I want someone with black hair and lives in the neck of... over. Oh, perfect. Fam. It says, Trang is an artistic sub... Um... I don't know what that word... What is that? Savant, she paints, and she's renowned for her unique avant-garde style. It's really too bad that she can't... Oh, I remember this one. <laughs> I remember reading this one. It's too bad that she can't stand art, which is so weird because she's, like, a renowned, like, artist in the town. <laughs> she can't even stand art at all. That's hilarious. We're using her to go to the store. And I'm going to show you around her house, just to give you guys a feel of the town and the houses. So that's why I did this part of the at all but this is her house and look how gorgeous it is look how gorgeous it is on the outside the detailing and the trees and then that misty red fog uh the land the hills i know there's a lot of plants and stuff that came with this because all of these are new i know they just didn't re color maybe they did just recolor them but that means they're still new to us because we can't recolor them so oh and sorry about the hill it's kind of hard to maneuver because Midnight Hollow has a lot of hills, like a lot, a lot of hills, and it's just crazy how many hills there is, and it's hard for me to focus on this house and her because there's so many hills. Like, if I move back a little bit with the camera, it just doesn't work. But this is the outside of her house. I don't know how many bedrooms it is or anything, but I just wanted to show you guys around it. Like, she lives in the woodsy Part and there's some train tracks in front of her house. I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's some train tracks in front of her house. Uh, I love, I know that this is new um, brick or um, terrain paint, the brick walkway. And then I think this red foggy looking thing is terrain paint. I don't know yet though. I'm waiting. Uh, I need to go on and like google about it <laughs> or try to find out more information about this red stuff because or just go into build mode i guess that would be easier try to figure out where this red foggy cool thing is coming from i don't know if it's terrain paint or is it actually there like it's fog but i don't think it's fog because it's not moving but i like it i like it a lot i like it i love this world so far I think, where am I now? Okay, now, <laughs> sorry, I'm now at the store. Yeah, it looks like I'm at the store that was on the demo, the live demo that I put on my channel from the live broadcast with Sim Guru Smitty. But, uh, so, those of you who watched that, you've already seen this shop. But I just wanted to show you guys the shop to show you guys how you can, um, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> that was my phone. I did not mean for my phone to ring, of course. <laughs> um, voiceover is goodness. My phone never rings in any of my videos, so that was really, really weird. But, yeah, I just wanted to go into the store to see... Not to see, sorry, to show you guys the cash register that came with the standard version of Midnight Hollow. And also the rugs and the shelves. So, we're going to have her go inside the store and have her purchase something. I think that's what I'm doing right now. I don't really know. What is she doing? Is she going to take all day to go in the store? This video is getting really, really long. So, I'm glad that I told you guys in the beginning that I'm going to separate this video into two videos. So... Yeah, I'm really glad that I'm going to separate it into two videos. 
because if I didn't, then it would take forever. But, okay, where is she? I think we're, I'm supposed to be clicking on the cash register. Come on, click on the cash register, come to the cash register. Okay, so you can set, you can tend to check to sales performance, hire a sales clerk and set hours for your lot by just clicking on the cash register. Just like how you can just click on the, uh, the desk, the front desk and um, Sunset, Sunset Valley, oh my gosh, in Island Paradise, uh, it, it works the same way, and there's also a new door that comes with the standard version, and you can set your hours and closing time, just like with the new restaurant that came out in the Sims 3 store, but there's a new door that you can do that with, so, oh, it's right there, if you guys can see it, I just went past it, but, uh, yeah, now we're gonna go in the store and purchase a chair and as you guys can see they're all on rugs so if it's on the rug you can purchase it and there's also some shelves on the wall with the lamps on them those are the shelves that came with midnight hollow so you put that on there you can buy it so right now we're gonna have her buy this dining room chair for 225 simoleons she can afford it she's kind of balling just a little bit she has 7,000 simoleons so so, um, so, yeah, like I was saying, she's, sorry, she's going to purchase this chair, and hopefully it doesn't take long, because if I can recall, it takes me a while, or it takes the game a while to actually show that it purchased, and I thought that, um, it was going to show up in her inventory right away when she purchased it, but it doesn't. I don't think it does. No, I think, yeah, it goes to your family inventory, not like your little backpack thing um, by itself. I don't know why I call it backpack, but, you know, the personal inventory goes to the family inventory. So that's pretty cool. And I love all of the, maybe it's not all, but all the dining room chairs that are in there. They look so, so cool. Uh, in there, and I know some of them are not new, but they're dark, so it gives them a new feel, so I'm really excited to, like, play with the new textures and make the home that my Sims live in homey and more Midnight Halloween, I guess, to my liking. Oh, here's the part that I was telling you guys about. It says, been placed in the family inventory, so not her inventory, but the family inventory, so that's how it works. And, uh, again, you guys, I am not going to put the objects and items in this, um, video. I'm going to do a separate video for all of the objects and items, how I do when I do it for expansion packs. So that's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it in the next video. And again, I'm going to show you the picture of the male items that I couldn't show you guys. And I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time of day it is when you watch this um voice over i'm so sorry but yeah this screen is just me trying to place the toy lot and it didn't work so i had to redo it but thank you guys so much for bearing with me in this voice over and i hope it wasn't too bad it's my first one and look out for my mini series which will be up um tomorrow september 28th so yeah talk to you guys all later and uh I hope those of you who don't have the game yet, I mean, not game, this this world, you should go get it. Go get it. Even if it's just a standard version, it just makes you have a new expansion pack in your game. So go get it, you guys, and I'll talk to you guys all later. And I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time of day it is when you watch this video.